welcome back. If you click the link, that means you're deciding to make a sugar scrub either for your business or for personal uses and you just want to know the tips and tricks and the details what to avoid what not to avoid and the different exfoliants emulsified all of the good things them if that's what you're interested in keep watching because i'm going to get into detail about what you need to know and some things that i tried myself before you decide on doing anything or start doing anything decide what type of scrub you want to make this is very important because body scrubs and face scrubs, they're not always interchangeable. Some people might use them as the same. This is basically the customer's discretion. So the next thing you want to ask, you might be asking, are they different? Aren't they both scrubs? What's the difference between them? Yes, these scrubs are actually different. Why they're different is because of the ingredients. Some oils that are used in body scrub, nine times out of ten you don't use them in face scrub because sometimes they may clog your pores they're too heavy they just don't give the face scrub the same amount of texture especially if you're using a lot like a high percentage of that oil you might not want that type of oil on your face so that's why you have to distinguish between the face or the body scrub you know like for example if i'm making a body scrub i put like avocado oil in the body scrub but i wouldn't put it in a face scrub because sometimes avocado oil have this nice on your body it's like light and you know have that nice like we call it glowy type of thing to it but sometimes when you put it in your face scrubs it's too heavy you know it's kind of too heavy on the face same thing with olive oil you know i feel i personally feel this is my personal thing olive oil sometimes feel kind of heavy on the face depending on how much you put present time because these are handmade products you're probably putting more than what a retailer would put in it so it's going to feel different on you know your customer's face the next thing i want to point out is that body scrubs usually have a higher percentage of exfoliants compared to a face scrub so you want to take that into consideration as well because some of them might be too rough you know unless it's like a sensitive body scrub that doesn't have as, mu as much sugar in it then maybe but nine times out of ten the body scrub has a lot more exfoliants in there and you might not want that type of you know rubbing and just scrubbing on your face the next thing you want to consider is the type of exfoliants you plan to use in your sugar scrub, body scrub, whatever scrub it is. You want to consider the type of exfoliants you want to use. So first, the most popular one is sugar and then you have powders. So I'll, I, think, I think the right thing to say is powders and grains, right? Yeah, but you know, coffee fall under, falls under that too as well. So anyways, let's go into the types of sugar you can use in your body scrub. We're gonna start with the sugar with the more softer texture and then go to the ones that we consider to be like a rougher or a more abrasive type of texture. All right, so we're going to begin with brown sugar. Now, my first body scrub that I created was created with brown sugar and I got really good reviews from it. I don't know why I stopped using it because it actually did feel good enough it, and I got really good reviews on it but I got influenced by the, the you know social media and learning how to do things and I thought maybe I should have I was so um into trying to get everything natural I went and got brown sugar even though brown sugar feel good but I've never I had no problem with it. I don't know why I stopped using it. anyways that's just a rant brown sugar is the first sugar we're going to go over now brown sugar is very soft I am looking down because I have some notes here. So brown sugar makes one of the more popular exfoliating sugar scrubs. So a lot of people, I wouldn't say it's super popular, but it's, it's up there with white sugar, right? Because I think a lot of people like sensitive skin, they will use brown sugar. So I've mostly seen the brown sugar in DIY household products. I rarely see it in the one in stores. Usually it's white sugar, granulated sugar, and then them colloids. And I think it's because the white granulated sugar make it, makes it easier for you to decorate your sugar scrub. It makes it easier for you to add color. When you add mica, it goes great with the white granulated sugar. When you're you know, trying to be creative and you know, when they make all those sugar scrubs that have like, you know, different themed sugar scrub, white granulated sugar works perfectly because it can take the color so that's why a lot of that's why it's in the, um a lot of the products in store shelves and even online and what people use to catch your eyes that's why white granulated sugar is used so <laughs> back to brown sugar it's said to be really fine and great for sensitive skin as i mentioned it blends into the skin perfectly the simple fact that it blends into the skin perfectly tells you that's why sensitive people with sensitive skin use it and it has that nice soft texture however sometimes i don't like it because i do like to have a little bit of a rougher texture so that's why i never really take on to the brown sugar scrub but now that i'm getting older 
you know now with time I'm actually turning back towards brown sugar because it does feel nice and I realize that some of us that think we have like sometimes we think we don't have sensitive skin and I'm like yeah my skin is a bit sensitive so I might turn I'm you know transitioning back to brown sugar the last thing I want to say about brown sugar is that it has brown sugar contains glycolic acid an antibacterial and exfoliating agent that keeps acne in check and improves the look and feel of skin also brown sugar is the version of the sugar that isn't stripped so it's not bleached or anything to make it white sugar the next option is granulated white sugar now this option is the option that is very popular not only online but honestly i think this is popular everywhere like in stores diy like granulated white sugar that's the sugar i mentioned it earlier yeah that's the sugar if if you're new to making skincare and body scrubs i'm pretty sure that's the sugar you've seen everywhere and rightfully so it's affordable and like i mentioned it takes color prop really well white granulated sugar is slightly more abrasive than brown sugar making it ideal for the body and also for your face if your skin if you let's say if your face isn't particularly sensitive sensitive also if you do decide to use it on a face scrub you might want to use like a less percentage or the the way how you create it you might want to change the way how you create it so it can include oils and maybe some exfoliants that can give you an, a nice softer texture that won't make it that harsh on your skin just like the brown sugar above it's also a humectant great for buffing away flakes improving circulation and increasing cell turnover it has molasses so this is a white granulated sugar Right, so those are the benefits of white granulated sugar and you know why you would choose white granulated sugar so from this description of white granulated sugar you should decide if this is right for you or if this is right for the type of scrub that you're trying to make and honestly it is a popular version so if you're just starting out you can go ahead and make this unless you're trying to make like super you know organic or natural way you might want to go to brown sugar the next sugar option you have is cane sugar now i'm going to read to you what exactly is cane sugar because i think sometimes people mix it up with brown sugar so let's go over it cane sugar is like granulated sugar but exclusively made of sugar cane as opposed to sugar beets and processed way less that is why some people when they want to make natural like organic products they opt to use cane sugar but i would say cane sugar also takes the coloring like mica or something like that but nothing will top the color that comes with you know white sugar so <laughs> granulated white sugar but cane sugar is the option for people who don't want to use processed sugar it is also fat it's fine not as coarse may cause cane, cane sugar may also cause irritation to the face if you use at a high percentage so it's similar to granulated sugar but if you use cane sugar at a high percentage it might cause irritation the next sugar i want to point out is raw sugar coarse so this is also called this is also called turbinata sugar this type of sugar is i like this type of sugar i use this sugar in my body scrub but yeah it is coarse i'm not even gonna lie to you it's coarse to show you how coarse it is when i use it in my body scrub i actually mix it with cane sugar so i use like a small percentage of raw raw granulate um i use a small percentage of raw sugar which is turbinata sugar and then a higher percentage of cane sugar mixed in with it and that's how I get my body scrub. The cane sugar is also great for like foot scrubs and things like that but it is a coarser sugar and the, it's not as fine, definitely not as fine. <laughs> so that that's not a sugar I would recommend to put on your face at all, especially if it's sensitive. No, I would not, exp no. I wouldn't say to use that in a face scrub but if you're going for like a nice or rich texture you can use a small percentage of it mix it in with your body scrub and use it as a body scrub it helps with the texture with the color of it and if you're looking for that nice like you know sometimes you want that scrubbing feeling the cane sugar will do that this is also good to make if you're making like unique sugar scrubs for specific areas like foot you know foot elbows knees things like that you can use raw cane sugar as long as your skin isn't sensitive you can use raw not cane sugar but raw sugar which is turbinata sugar. another exfoliant i want to mention is none other than coffee let me tell you something coffee is one of the best exfoliants i've used in a sh sugar scrub in a body scrub 
it feels so good and you see because it's not like the sugar scrub where when warm water touch it it will melt which that's kind of good for tubs so it gives it depending on the oil you mix it with when you leave that to soak and you rub it on your body it gives a nice massage relaxing type of feeling on your body when you finish scrub out your body with that and rub and just exfoliate you feel really massaged you, you feel soft you feel silky coffee as an exfoliant is unmatched it there's i just don't think there's anything out there like it it is really nice if i'm making a coffee scrub i would not duplicate the recipe with um a sugar scrub because in my coffee scrub let's say i use 60 percent sugar i would not use 60 percent coffee because coffee soaks up the oil so when because of that when you put it in the jar and you put it sit down it gets very hard so you have to end up digging it up and then it's like less so what I usually do is take use if I use 60% sugar probably like 40 30% coffee depending on the type of sugar scrub that I'm making and you could get a nice sugar scrub that you can a nice coffee scrub that you can with the great spreadability right and depending on you know the texture that you're going for so you can test this out and see for yourself another type of exfoliant that is popular is powder exfoliants so these are exfoliants like um walnut powder i don't use walnut powder i don't think i'm gonna recommend walnut powder unless you're making a personal coffee scrub or you have a way that you can make it that's not so abrasive but like things like that but the one that i want to speak about where it considers powder is bamboo powder let me tell you something. I've created a scrub mixture before. I didn't add the sugar. I just had the formula and you know the base. I added a little bit of bamboo powder in that and mix it around. When I tell you, you cannot see bamboo powder. It is very fine. But when you scoop up some of that and rub it and I rub it on my hand, I was blown away by the texture and the scrub and the luxurious feeling that I received from that scrub. That's like it, it gave it gave me store shelf vibe. So bamboo powder, it is it is a pricey scrub. It the powder is pricey, but it's worth it. And I would mix that with you know you can mix it with all the sugar. With all the if you want to do the white granulated sugar and you'd have like a top notch scrub for body and you can put a low percentage it's really great for face actually mama powder said you have really great benefits for face so you can you know you can definitely test it out and balance it out and the next uh exfoliant that i've seen i personally never use this it's the ahoba beads i've seen people use this to add like color and texture to their scrubs so you can take a look at that as well the next thing i want to talk about are the oils you want to consider when making your body scrub all right not the oils but the things you want to consider when making your body scrub or face scrub and what to ask yourself when you're looking for oils to put in these scrubs i do have a video about the top oils to use in face scrubs and the top oils to use in body scrub i think i did body scrub as well and i'll link it up here anywho let's begin with what you want to ask yourself why because not every oil is built the same not every oil is used for your body not every oil you want to use on your face and you have to consider the skin type that you're making this scrub for so if you want in for more information on that then definitely click one of the links that i posted and you can get the top oils that i've used but you do have to take this in consideration because people's skin flare up you know skin your face and your body flare up to different things last but not least i want to you to consider the type of scrub that you're going to make if you're going to make a regular oil based scrub or you want to make an emulsified body scrub this scrub is my favorite type of scrub to make it is unmatched the texture is superb like you cannot you can't lose you cannot lose with this type of scrub the first thing i want to explain is what is an emulsifier right like you're probably like emulsified body scrub if you're new to this what are emulsifiers i'm going to read it an emulsion is the suspension of one liquid in another liquid in cosmetics they help oil and water to finally disperse in each other creating a stable homogeneous smooth emulsion examples of emulsions are lotions creams and hair conditioners right so you're probably wondering okay so why do i need to add why do i add that to a scrub right like why i'm going to add this to a scrub if it's like for water and to mix ingredients well it helps to combine the oils and butters together smoothly and this thus 
creating a nice creamy texture for your body scrubs which makes the body scrubs feel more like a lotion and much more luxurious and also when this type of scrub is placed into the shower and water gets into it it doesn't do a lot of separation that may happen if it was just a regular scrub and you won't see water floating on the top unless it you know you spray water inside of it now that's a whole different ball game right so do you want to make so the question is do you want to make an emulsified scrub if so let's continue you want to choose the type of wax you would use in this emulsion. When I say wax, I'm not talking about beeswax or anything like that. We're talking about, I call them wax because the main one is an emulsifying wax. <laughs> and you have stearic acid and you have cetyl alcohol. There's more than these. There's a lot of other ones out there. But these are the three main ones that I've used. I've personally used in scrub and got great results. There's another one that's called cetyl alcohol i'll post it here below but that one is a bit more high-end and i think it's a, a probably a bit harder to work with and you might want to test that out with, with concerns stability anywho these three i personally use got great results got great reviews from customers when i used to sell that product right so the steric acid if you put too much in it it might make it if you put too much in it, it might make it too thick. It's gonna make it hard and it kind of gives a drag on the skin. Cetyl alcohol, this one felt the best in my scrub. Like it really felt good in my scrubs, okay? Cetyl alcohol is supposed to make it hard as well, but it felt really good on the skin. Like that was the one that I put in my face scrub. I didn't even use it in my body scrub. Like there's a cup of face scrub that I make, that my rose face scrub, and that's what I put in there. Cetyl alcohol because of how nice it feels on the skin, right? So if any of this helps you along the way, Go ahead and you know click subscribe leave a comment or like the video and if you want to see more video like this definitely subscribe to my channel also you might want to watch this video next to help with your body scrub options or whatever YouTube decides to choose <laughs> thanks for watching